Welcome back to Blender for Biochemists, going over more of geometry nodes. So today I'll be showing the sort of intricacies of selections and how you can combine different selections to highlight specific residues, um, delete certain residues and show off other ones. Currently I am working on with molecular nodes 0.9.2, so I recommend you do upgrade to the latest release. You can get the latest release from the GitHub page forward slash releases, or if you're on the GitHub page, go down to releases, and you can see the most recent releases there. And so 0.9.2 introduces a bunch more nodes for making selections easier. So today I'll be showing off 5x29, which is an NMR structure of a SARS protein. And let's just jump right into it. So if I go into molecular nodes, paste that in, click download, wait a few seconds for it to process, and just like that I've got my structure in. And so I can press play, it'll play through the animation, and so I'm just going to delete the default cube, add back in a plane, and we can start get started. Okay, so I've got my plane, I'm going to go over to the geometry nodes tab, and so to my protein I'm going to add a style ribbon. So we've got our style and we've got our protein there. Now what we want to be able to do is combine different selections in order to highlight maybe a specific residue or a specific chain. And so if I go up like this, let's zoom out like that, we can shift A, we've got this selections tab. So we've got select atoms selection math and then a bunch of selections down here. Now if we put on select atoms nothing's going to happen and so this is the base sort of node which is best for using selections. If you press tab you can go into it and see it's not really doing much complicated, it's just separating the geometry based on your selection and then setting up the material again because the material does break in between. So control tab to go out. But so this is the little node that will do the selection. So everything that is selected will come out of here. Everything that isn't will come out of here. And so let's just start by doing selection chains. And so you'll notice that these are all the chains specific for this protein. And so this is one of the few nodes inside of molecular nodes that is made on the fly, so per protein it will be different. If I plug that selection in, we'll see we get nothing because we have no chains selected. So if I go A, show up A, B and C. So I've got a couple of chains selected and if we look at this other selection, that's the inverted of that selection. So that makes sense, hopefully. But what if I want to do so we've, we've got our chain selected. The inverse of our selection, I want to, oh, I want to join geometry and put that on there. So everything that's not selected will become atoms. And now we are in EV currently. So we can switch over to cycles. and the atoms will show up. Or we could also stay in EV and do the atoms EV node. This is a little buggy and it will slow down the viewport with a lot of atoms. So I do recommend where possible going to um, cycles and using that. But now we have atoms for one, protein for other. Now what if we, okay, we've got our chain selected what if these atoms here, we wanted to additionally, or even for this chain node up here, a specific residue we want to highlight as atoms as well? Well, we can get this select. So Shift D to duplicate, plug that in. And so if we join the geometry there, well, now it's all atoms and this weird little blender bug happens where I just need to say um, geometry to instance to make the colors come back. 
that's just a little blender bug that I haven't figured out around yet. But so we've got all of our atoms here and what we want actually is in our selections, say a specific amino acid. Okay, let's plug that in. Currently we have all the amino acids ticked, so I'm just gonna untick those. And I want just alanines. And so now just alanines are showing up or just alanines and arginines and asparagines. And okay, so we're selecting via a specific amino acid name. What if we also wanted only specific amino acids within a range? So we get selection amino acid number for a specific single number or selections amino acid number range. And so if we plug that in, now we have, actually let's cut that. So we just have this. Now we are selecting everything that's within a specific range. Now this is the numbering resets per chain. So that's why we're getting for each chain. But okay, we're getting the first 30 amino acids. But what if we want the first 30 amino acids that are only alanine, arginine, and asparagine? Well, we can go selections and selection math. And so this is just one of the base nodes. So this is, you can find it in utilities, Boolean math, but I just put it also inside of selections for convenience. But we can say, okay, we want this and we want this. So only when both of these are true, do I want to actually show some atoms? And so that's what we're seeing here. And okay, you can keep chaining these together only when this and this, and if we add the chain, and I only want the one chain. And so now we're only getting alanines, arginines, and asparagines on our chain A that are showing up as atoms. And so inside of the Boolean math, you can get and, or, not, not and, nor, equal, not equal, uh, imply and subtract. And so these are the different Boolean operations that you can chain together one after the other. And of course, we're doing this, but we can, this is all happening after the animate. So if we just play that out, our animation will continue to play as well. And so let's bring down the radius of the ribbon. To these, I'm going to go styling ball and stick, not EV atoms. And so now we are getting ball and stick for these selections. I don't necessarily want the backbone. And so I can say, and not, and if we go selections, side chain, this has a selection for side chains and backbone. Oop. And I can say side chain with the alpha carbon included or side chain without the alpha carbon included and you'll lose that little bond. But our side chain with the alpha carbon included. And so now we've got just the side chains. And okay, what if we wanted to add a few more amino acids in there? And again, it's only on this chain and it's only in this number range. Well, we can increase that number range and it's still only on this chain. And then we'll add a couple more chains. And so now each of these chains has this entire combined selection. And so if you wanted to invert it, you could invert it. Now we're only getting the backbone or you could use this backbone here and you would only get the backbone or the backbone without the alpha carbon. And you can start to see how you can combine these different selections to get different results. So what if we wanted to, all right, that's gonna slow down a bit because there's a lot of computation going on. I wanna select atoms based on the position to something. So if I go selections, selection position, this will automatically create uh, an empty to control it. And you can see we've got our empty here and we've got a few different options. So there's one which is distance. So if it's greater than a certain distance, it will be selected. 
or you could have it's less than a certain distance and you can control the distance here so we can see the further the more I increase it the wider that selection is by default if you scale the empty it will scale the distance as well but you can turn that off with that option and now if I scale the empty nothing will happen and so I can say okay like that or if you want to select and slice through your protein then you can um, go plus or minus the X position. So the X is the red axis and I want to say okay everything that's positive of this empties X position will be selected and so okay everything's only like that and then what if I want to say okay I want everything that's positive so I want everything that's to the X of this or so selection math I go or I can say or everything or if the name is alanine and so now if I move that it's going to hide away all of the atoms and just leave behind the alanines or if I wanted to say okay alanines and selections chains chain A so now it's going to hide everything but leave behind the alanines on chain A and so we can see how we can start doing some powerful selections just by combining the different booleans which are these pink um, sockets and selecting via that so let's do an example where we can sometimes the shader crashes but that's okay let's just reset all of this And so I have my protein, it's going to play back nicely and I'm going to add some surface onto it. It's going to tweak the surface a bit, turn off the smoothing, 1.2. And so we've got our surface there. What if we want to look at a particular chain? We can say selections position and we'll say on the X so positive of the X so we're selecting through the surface and then the remainder let's do style ball and stick not EV atoms and so now GX oh, on this empty GX we can slice into the surface and show the ball and stick now importantly if we go into x-ray mode we're not generating ball and stick inside the surface because that won't be seen although you could set that up if you want it's only being generated when it's no longer being selected for the surface and again we're currently doing this for all chains so we can say selections and we want this selection yeah that should be enough uh, we just want to change that to not okay so now we reveal just one chain now you can see if I'm clicking this and then clicking this my note nodes disappear you can click a little pin here and so now if you click off it your node tree for what you're working on will not disappear but now we can have a little reveal where if you move your empty and so we can say so we can say okay if we go f12 move to the start and say keyframe location with i move to the end GX 
insert location. Now, as it plays through, your surface is updating because your animation is playing back and you're revealing the underlying atomic movement of one specific chain during your animation. And so hopefully that's a bit of an example of how you can combine the different selections. So there is also selections by the actual atomic names, but you can also just say the atomic number, but this is here for convenience. This is only the first 20 because it takes a while to make it, and so I didn't want to go through and make them all, and they're probably the most used ones. There's also the side chain, and that's all of them. So yeah, let's just go, let's go to our layout and just let that play back. So, thank you again for watching. Thanks for, again, tweeting at me with your creations. I look forward to seeing what else you can make. Um, please do, yeah, please do tweet at me. Please do share. Uh, if you'd like to buy me a coffee, I would very much appreciate the support. Um, of course, like and subscribe and all that sort of YouTube stuff. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.